Welcome to this lesson guys where we will be going over probability tree diagrams, particularly for independent events. Um, in this lesson, I have two questions planned for you, um, like the one behind me here, which is at grade five, and then we'll look at a grade seven question later on. So stay tuned. Right, so let's have a look at our first probability question, okay? Now, before we begin, I do need to explain to you independent and dependent events. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at independent probability tree diagrams. Independent events simply means that one event doesn't affect the other. So for example, if the probability of event A happening is this, then it has no impact, no effect on the probability of event B happening. Uh, behind me, we have Samuel, which, who has 12 DVDs, and we have Juned, who has 20 DVDs. Four of Samuel's DVDs are comedy films, and eight of Juned's are comedy films. So they are both going to select one of the DVDs at random. So if these two events are independent, if Samuel selects a particular DVD, it doesn't matter what he selected, Juned will, will select whatever DVD he wants to watch. He's not going to look at Samuel's one and say, oh, because you chose this DVD, I'm going to choose another one. He's going to choose it regardless. This is what is known as independent events. So our question says that they each select one of the DVDs at random to watch, um, draw a probability tree diagram. So we want to draw and we want to represent this in a tree diagram. Um, we want to have a choice for Samuel to choose his DVDs and we want to have a choice for Juned to pick his DVDs. So let's begin by drawing our probability tree diagram here. Okay, so we have here, this is going to be Samuel. So Samuel's selection here, okay. Now, Samuel choosing comedy will represent it with a C and Samuel not choosing comedy will represent it with a C with a dash on top. Now, what is the probability of Samuel choosing comedy? Now, Samuel has 12 DVDs, four of them are comedy. So the probability of Samuel having a comedy DVD that he selects is going to be four out of 12. And the probability of Samuel choosing a DVD, which is not a comedy, is going to be whatever is left. So in this case, it's going to be eight out of 12. Okay, now, when it comes to the turn of Juned, you can write this here, okay? Now, Juned will choose regardless of what Samuel has chosen, okay? So we will draw his tree branches here separately. So, Juned will have a comedy and not comedy. Comedy and not comedy, okay? Now, if I did uh, Juned first, then Samuel will be here and will have two branches each for Samuel as well. Right, so let's have a look at this first branch here. What does it mean? It means if Junaid chooses comedy or not. If Junaid chooses comedy, he has eight, which are comedy films, out of his 20 DVDs. So this will be eight out of 20. For Samuel, for Junaid rather, not to choose comedy, which will be the leftover. So therefore 12 out of 20. Hopefully you can see that too. Now, earlier on, I explained to you what is meant by independent. Because Juned choosing his DVDs are completely independent to what Samuel does, he is going to have the same probabilities represented on his branches for this one as well, which is when Samuel doesn't choose a comedy. So here we will also have 8 over 20 and 12 over 20. Something to know is that the branches here have to add up to 1, the branches here add up to 1, and they have to add up to 1 as well. So now we've drawn our probability tree diagram. Let's go through it and find the probability that neither choose a comedy DVD. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the probability that neither choose comedy. We can also write this using the letters that I've used. So not comedy means Samuel not choosing comedy, and Juned not choosing comedy. So we are looking at this branch. Okay, we are looking for this root here. Okay, not choosing for Samuel and not choosing for Juned. So, not comedy and not comedy. So what are the probabilities of not comedy and not comedy? Eight out of 12. And remember what this means? This means and. This means and. It's an intersection, not an N. And and is 
represented by times. And if you have a union, it means or, and that is represented by plus to add. Okay, so this is times, so therefore 8 over 12 times by 12 over 20, which is the probability of Junaid not having a comedy film that he has chosen. Now we'll calculate this, so you could um, use your calculator, but if it's on a non-calculator paper, um, you, you will have to use non-calculator techniques, which I will do for you. Um, so this is assuming that it's on a non-calculator uh, paper. Um, if it is on a calculator paper, then go right ahead, put this into your calculator. All right, so these, they can um, cancel, so we can divide by uh, four, we can divide by four, we get two, uh, we get five. Uh, we can also cancel these, divide by 12, both of them. So we end up with two over one, times by 1 over 5, which is 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5. So the answer is 2 over 5. If you do need a further lesson on how to multiply fractions, then do see the video uh, multiplying and dividing fractions, where you can get help on that.